at is with regard to climate change. Now, while ringing alarm bells over climate change, the United Nations World Meteorological Organization has in fact come up with a fresh report where it has revealed that polar areas of Arctic and Antarctic have registered record high temperatures in last year. Now, while the Arctic region recorded temperatures of 38 degrees on 20th June last year, Antarctic continent registered a new record of around 18.3 degrees. That is much higher than normal. In fact, the UN body is also investigating high temperatures recorded in other parts of the world, such as Death Valley in California and the Italian island of Sicily. UN added that such drastic changes can fuel devastating natural disasters, leading to melting of icebergs. Let me go across to my colleague Gauri, who will tell us more exactly what are the contents of this UN report. Gauri. That's right. Uh, it's a very telling report that we are talking about right now, which has been issued by U United Nations uh, on climate change. And it gives out several uh, scathing and alarming facts and figures regarding climate change. Let me take you through the details. Uh, first important thing that has been written by, uh, in this UN report is, of course, that Antarctica recorded 18.3 degrees in the year 2020. Remember, Antarctica is a polar region uh, completely frozen throughout the year. And that particular area actually recorded temperature as high as 18. In fact, uh, Arctic region, another polar region of Earth, also recorded a whopping 38 degrees in the year 2020. Another very, very alarming sign of climate change. Moving on, uh, 2020 was, uh, in fact, one of the three warmest year on record. This has been mentioned by United Nations once again, uh, proving that uh, the overall increase in global temperature is such a big concern for the entire uh, Earth. In fact, another important thing that has been raised in United Nations report is that high temperatures can actually fuel devastating fires. Remember, right from California to Australia, we have been seeing devastating fires taking place, uh, claiming, uh, uh, actually inducing a lot of loss of flora and fauna. And uh, as per UN report, high temperatures can actually worsen the situation when it comes to such fires. Another important thing that has been mentioned in the report, that very, they are actually in process of verifying high temperatures recorded globally. And another important thing that has been said in the report is that Arctic is among the fastest warming regions across the globe. Very, very important thing. Remember, uh, melting of glaciers or ice in these polar regions actually uh, leads to a gradual increase in sea levels and actually poses a threat to all those cities or, or areas which are uh, close to seas and uh, that is of course a very concerning thing another important thing is that arctic is heating over twice the global average uh, the rise in global temperature has always been a matter of concern and this particular report actually says that polar region of arctic is actually heating twice over the global average so these are some of the important highlights uh, of this un report Tanima. Ed Gauri, thank you so much for bringing uh, the perspective and also giving us the details of what exactly this UN report is about. Let's also take a look at some other updates which are coming in from across the world with regard to COVID. Netherlands caretaker Prime Minister Mark Rutte uh, has extended the country's lockdown curbs until January 14th in wake of Omicron variant. Dutch government also ordered to close elementary schools for a week. Russia sends uh, an emergency ministry plane with humanitarian aid, which includes Ministry of Health specialists, 2,000 COVID tests and a mobile lab in South Africa. According to the Russian emergency ministry, South African President Ramaphosa requested the aid from Russia. On Tuesday, South African Health Minister received his COVID booster jab. He also appealed to people to get their booster jabs done. 